now let us discuss about uh, data sources in Terraform. In one of the example, we have created uh, EC2 instance. So there we hard coded the AMI ID and you know AMI, AMI ID is different for different region and uh, it will be changed. Uh, it will be changed frequently. So every time I cannot go and get the AMI ID manually and I cannot create the EC2 resource. So for that purpose, actually Terraform will give us something like data source. You can fetch the data from the Amazon dynamically at any time. You will get the latest data. So for that purpose, the syntax you have to write is uh, like this data. What is the type of data you are searching for? Just give one name and inside you write what that uh, the syntax how you want now i will search terraform data source to fetch the ami okay let me go to this medium article here you need to search with first the owner is amazon when you when you search owner is amazon you will get lot of amis out of that you need to filter what ami you want you can search uh, with the name now let us see how to do this. I have copied provider.tf ec2.tf. Here I will write data AWS underscore AMI and the name Amazon Linux 2. Now the syntax is most recent is true. owners i'm searching for amazon now you need to provide the filters how you provide the filter with the name how you will know the name Suppose I need this AMI. Just go and search in AMIs. Here there will be a lot of uh, filtration criteria. This is the name actually. And then who is the owner? What is the root device type? You can use these. Uh, you can use these filters to fetch the uh, unique AMI ID you want. Now I want this AMI start with If you keep star then in future if there are any amis released with the different versions then you will get the up-to-date ami id okay now let me comment this and let us see whether we get the right ami or not value equal to data dot amazon line data dot aws ami dot you need to give id okay now let me check this terraform plan okay first initialize now terraform plan Okay, I forgot to give star here. Let's give star and then now do it. Now you got the AMID 04893. If you see here 04893. Now let us do one more testing. Now I want the AMID in Singapore region. I have given Singapore region. Now let us plan and then check. Select Singapore here. It is the ending with C0. 
we got C0. So this is how you fetch the data from AWS dynamically. Now let us go through another example. I want the availability zones available inside the particular region. Now we have given Singapore. Now I want to know the availability zone. Just search Terraform data source to get H it. Okay, now you see the syntax. You have to give data. The type is AWS underscore availability zones. Just give any name and the state is available. Copying like this. Just give AZ. Now you want to print this output. AZ giving value equal to AWS underscore availability zones. dot agent dot I want the names let us go through the attribute reference just give names to get the list of names available names okay now let us do this Okay, here it should be data dot. Sorry for mistakes, it happens. Okay, now you got the availability zone information also. So this is the simple example. We may use data sources in many places in Terraform. Now you know how to use data source and the purpose.